Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Boolean group within Expresso, which is very, very important. And that's because we want in our very complicated setups within Expresso to test uh, the Boolean functions within our setup. So we do have this list of operator, which consists of three options or three adapters. I'm going to be talking about the first one, which is the bool. As you can see, we have two inputs, but we can add as many inputs as we want. And the work that this adapter will do for us is to test whether these inputs have the true or false value. So the output of this adapter is going to be the same thing. It's just going to be a bool. Uh, value. It's just going to be true or false, zero or one. All of these testing thing within this adapter is going to be based on one of these options within this list. Either it's going to be AND or XOR, in AND, in OR, in XOR. I'm going to be talking about each and every one of them and it's going to be so easy for you to follow along. So we do have the first one which is AND. So when we choose this one, all of the inputs must be true in order for us to get a true output. If we have one of these options or false is false, so the false value will be uh, 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 in the output. So let's add a result node. All right, so we're gonna change the data type from real to bool so we can see this better. So we have a false value. Now, if we just connect this output point to the result node, so we do have the false value. Now, if we go back to the Boolean function and we check one of these, so we do have the false. In order to get a true value in this function of AND, all of these things must be checked on. So, which means that all of these inputs must be true. Let's check them all the last one now we do have a true value so in a nutshell with this function of and it expects for all of these inputs to be true in order to get a true value from this output point i hope that makes sense now let's change the function from and to or and with this function it needs only one of these inputs, regardless of the count of these inputs, to be true in order to get a true value from this output. So we do have so many inputs now. We have exactly five uh, of them. But if we uncheck one of these, so we do still have the true value because it needs one. So if we uncheck all of these things, we still have the true value. Uncheck the last one. Now we do have a false value. So with this, with this function of OR, it expects one of the inputs within this adapter to be true in order to get a true value in the output part. I hope also that makes sense. And now let's talk about the third option or third function within this list which is XOR and with this function it expects an odd number of inputs to be true in order to get a true value in this result node so if we check one of these inputs so we do have a true value if we check two which is not an odd number. So we're gonna have a false value. If we check three, which is an odd number, we're gonna have true value. So with this function, it only expect an odd number of inputs to be true in order to get a true value from this output port. Now, we have talked about the three first options within this function list. Now we still have to talk about the th last three functions within this list which is basically the opposite of the first ones so we said um, about the first node it should have the 
all of the inputs to be true in order to get a true value. Now the n and is basically the opposite, which means that all of the inputs should be false in order to get a true value. If we check them on, all of them, we're gonna have a false value. So it's basically the reverse or the opposite of and. So with this in or, which is the opposite of or, like we said, uh, we need uh, one input to be true in order to get a false value. So it's the, it's the opposite, it's just very simple. So we check one of these inputs so it's true. Now we do have a false uh, value in the output. Uh, so let's talk about the uh, last one which is in XOR. It's the opposite of XOR. In XOR, we were looking for an odd number of inputs to be true in order to get a true value in the result node. Now, we're gonna look for an even number of inputs to have a true value. So, if we check two, we do have a true value. I hope all of these things make sense. We still have two nodes within this Boolean group. I'm gonna be talking about them in the next video, so... Stay tuned.